Good day, my name is Vera Fodre Freer and I'm a lecturer at the Dietetics Department and also a PhD candidate. The 25th of May is Africa Day, a day which allows us to reflect on the continent's progress and the common challenges that we face. The aspirations of Africa are many and the sustainability of food and nutrition is high on the agenda. That is why I am so delighted that the theme of this year's Africa Day is the year of nutrition. The title of my PhD research is A Relevant Intervention of Nutrition Transition Among Isitosa Speaking People in Nelson Mandela Bay. The term traditional African diet encompasses various African crops and food products prepared using elaborate traditional African methods. Sadly, significant dietary changes occur in Africa, resulting in substantial changes from healthy traditional diets to more Western diets. This is known as nutrition transition. Nutrition transition is a global phenomenon in which diets shift from a predominantly plant-based diet with fresh and um, unprocessed foods to a diet high in sugar, fat, animal source foods and highly processed foods. The increased burdens of overweight and obesity and diet related non-communicable diseases such as diabetes and heart diseases are linked to nutrition transition. Despite the prevalence of this nutrition phenomenon, there is limited research that explores the nutrition perceptions of communities in South Africa. Most of the studies conducted regarding the research subject were conducted in Asian and American countries. And interestingly, studies have found that it is possible to steer nutrition transition in a more positive direction, provided that we adhere to some basic principles, such as planning public health promotion strategies, policies, as well as interventions. Thus, providing a better understanding of the perceptions of individuals about nutrition transition, their knowledge and practices about traditional foods, and its effects in developing nations like South Africa is vital for developing interventions to help minimize the adverse effects of nutrition transition. Thus, my research study will investigate the perceptions of nutrition transition and the traditional food knowledge of Isitosa speaking people living in Nelson Mandela Bay, followed by an intervention. And this information will subsequently be used to develop and test an educational program for healthy cooking of traditional meals fit for a modernized world. Good day, my name is Pumia Zam Kondwana. I'm a community nutrition lecturer at the Department of Human Nutrition and Dietetics at Nelson Mandela University. I'm also a PhD candidate at uh, this department and the focus of my study is on nutrients that are involved in stunting. Stunting is um, the major form or the most common form of malnutrition that we have in children in the developing countries. It is receiving a lot of attention and I'm hoping that my study is also going to contribute to information on how we can manage this problem, particularly in children at the school going age. We do have some guidelines and some information on this condition in children under the age of five, but we seem to be um, lacking 
guidelines on how to manage it should we miss this um, important age group of under five. So my study is looking at the children that are over the age of five and hopefully we will be able to come up with some information that will point us to the correct guidelines in the uh, older age groups and um, so that we can help uh, manage this problem. I'm hoping that the debates that we're going to have this um, year in the Africa Day are going to contribute to um, some of the solutions that we can find to manage a lot of the causes of malnutrition in the African continent.